Google has now, um, uh, they're now touting their new AI system that can basically create images from text. So you can type in some words and it will generate an image. And it's from their Imogen diffusion model. Um, and of course it's done by the brain team at Google research. And it's just like, oh, it's unprecedented. This is just wonderful. You can type in one of the, one of the, the examples is Android mascot from bamboo. And it shows the Android mascot in bamboo. So basically whatever you type, it will generate an image. So this is pretty cool, right? It's like, okay, this could be fun. This could be, you know, interesting to, to use. Well, it's not available to the public. And you know why it's not available to the public? Quote, data sets of this nature often reflect social stereotypes, oppressive viewpoints, and derogatory do. or otherwise no. harmful associations to marginalized identity groups. So they have this amazing model, but they can't share it because people are so racist, homophobic, uh, they'll train the AI to draw some crazy stuff, basically. Some very racist, <laughs> very harmful, very classist, very anti-religion um, things and be out there in the world. So they have this great tech, but they can't share it to the public because the public will take it and just completely decimate it. That's really the real reason why I wanted to bring this up because sure, I mean, the, the AI model is cool. We've all heard of similar things. I think this is pretty specific. Um, and you know, you know, the detail, the grain of detail you can get to, I think one, one of the images is an alien octopus floats through a portal reading a newspaper. And what do you see? Just that. So it gets down to an extremely granular level to build these images based off text. But the sad thing is they did all this work to create this, which I'm interested to see. They've spent all this money and this time doing this, but they can't give it, give the public access um, to it. It's uh, my, to stretch my imagination, it would have to be, uh, excuse me. And they uh, initially, um, uh, maybe for people with uh visual um impairments maybe yes maybe um something like that would be the primary use and then even then they would have to you know figure out a way to section it off or uh lock it down to where it can't be used for anything but that in a certain specific scenarios because like you mentioned, the public will get a hold for of it, and they'll be tra machine learning, <laughs> training the software to draw to some the worst possible stuff, denominator, <laughs> right? To where somebody then comes behind them and actually tries to use it for legitimate purposes. So too late, the the, the machine learning is already been trained, trash. so you're gonna get an ape where it ain't supposed to be, and you know, any other sort of lowest, like you said, lowest common denominators that you can think of. So it's a shame that technology like this can't just be shared for the greater good because society. <laughs> just trash, man. Let us be great, but they won't. So that's